Welcome, welcome, welcome to the last one of the Breakpoint series on Netflix. And the last episode is called King of Clay. It's all about the French Open. And this time they picked two guys. So no girls in the whole episode. They picked this dude, Felix Auger, alias him, having a great battle at the French Open against Rafa. And they picked the other guy, Kasper Root, who was already in the, uh, in the, in the slam finals. And um, he went also very very far and deep in the tournament we start first with uh Ali Asim. it was a lot about also uh, rafa in that series so um tony nadal the uncle of rafa nadal just joined the team and felix took him as a kind of super coach for his team um was interesting to see when he played rafa and everyone knew it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be where is where is tony sitting and which in which box is he joining we'll sit in alias Sim's box will it go to rafa's box so that was a, a very interesting situation and um it, it 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 ended up like blowing up really big because tony nadal gave an interview and tony nadal said look i will not help this dude to beat my nephew i want rafa to win and then Muratoglu also in part of the series as a as a kind of an intersection like person talking a little bit about the whole situation. He says that's so unprofessional. You cannot be a coach of a player, even though it's your uncle or if it's your son. If you're a coach of a player and trying to make this guy better, um, you cannot say that you want your nephew to win. Maybe it's your opinion, but you should not say that in the media. Tony Nadal did that, it blew everything up, and then they talked to, to Ali Asim. And Ali Asim, pretty calm, he says, you look, it was clear that uh, Tony Nadal would be my coach and I would maybe face Rafa and I knew about the situation and I'm all totally agree and, and um, can understand that he wants his nephew to win where he yeah, celebrates so many victories and so many Grand Slam titles with his son, uh, with his nephew, sorry guys. And uh, so that was very interesting with uh, Ali Asim. They played a big five-set battle. Um, eventually, Rafa made it through and passed uh, Ali Asim, went also to the finals. Um, and But guys, I'm very interested in, in, in your opinion. So let me know in the comments, what do you think What uh, about Tony Nadal in that situation saying, I don't want my player to win. He pays me. He pays me money for being his coach. But if he plays Rafa, I want my, my nephew to win. And then we switch over to this guy, Casper Root. He was um, not really mentioned in the beginning because it took more about uh, Ali Asim. Then it came about um, all about Casper Root, who uh, had a great battle against Rune before and then making it to the final against Rafa. And it's all about a little bit also about Rafa. So a lot of a lot of like talks about Rafa, about that Rafa is his idol when he grew up, that he's practicing in Rafa Nadal's tennis academy, that Tony Nadal is also helping him a lot, improving his game. I have seen Casper uh, Root in the Nadal academy with Rafa on the court. That was um, after the Grand Slam final in Australia, actually, where Rafa got destroyed from Novak that time. Rafa was two days later in the academy, and he stepped on court with Casper Root, and they were like, Five, six coaches, Kasper Ruud, Jean Munar, they practice together and Rafa was leading them, telling them, look here, this have, you have to do this. So that was really interesting to see. So Rafa really helped uh, Jean Munar and, and especially also Kasper Ruud to develop his game to, um, yeah, to build up like the player he is now. And, and he's uh, maybe, maybe he's, uh, how to say, in, the, in in that match, he was maybe a little bit overwhelmed from all the situation that his mentor his idol is on the other side of the court um teaching him tennis kind of uh and, and being a part of how he like why he's in the final and um yeah then the final as of course everyone knew that rafa is gonna win it uh, but still that was a great great episode and seeing all the all the the insights also as i said about about casper root also again a lot of back background informations with a with a team um and that was the final episode. So overall, as I said, I really do like it. I really did like um, the whole setup. As I said, for a person that knows the results, it's a little bit less exciting, let's say, because they build up and then, okay, this time in the last episode, not, not, no one was even winning a trophy. So it was neither uh, Ali Asim nor Kasper Ruud, as we had in the, in the previous episodes. But overall, um, I think it was, it was great for, for showing some 
yeah, behind the scenes stories, some talks with the coaches. What do they go through when they warm up? What do they go through when they lose a match? And overall, I really, I really did like it. I really enjoyed to watch it. And I can't wait for the next episode um, and the whole next series that will come out in the middle of the year. Probably at around Wimbledon time. So guys, let me know in the comments what do you think about the whole series about the breakpoint. I'm really curious about people um, being big fans of tennis. What do you think? And also I'm curious about the persons that maybe get into tennis because of the breakpoint series. What do you think? Uh, are you more like now you want to play tennis? You want to get out there or you want to go on the court? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if course you liked it if not then don't like it it's fine for me totally <laughs> totally good and i'll see you up next in the next videos or in the next live streams guys take care my name is Shamini, and i'm out of here take care ch -ch 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 ciao ciao